guys welcome to this video this is Jay uh, and I'm in the office as you can see horrible day it's very windy out there and this is uh, I'm on one of the uh, highest motorways in England this is uh, the M62 between uh, Huddersfield and uh, Rochdale or should I say well Saddleworth so this is like Saddleworth Moor and all this kind of thing over there so yeah the weather's really quite rough quite bad I'm feeling it you know the, the, the truck the trailer is being buffeted by the wind so you can't we're, 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 we're driving at a reduced speed Normally I'm up to like, you know, 56 kilometers per hour or 53, depending on the truck, but we're all driving at about 40 miles an hour now because it's, you know, just the um, road is exposed to the wind, you see. So it's very windy, very dangerous. Some guys will risk it, you know. I could risk it myself, but I'd rather just show you um, I'll just show you as it is like I'm, I'm not in a massive rush and it makes sense when you're doing this job you don't want to rush you do not want to rush because that's when you can have accidents uh, incidents whatever rushing is your worst enemy when it's when it when you call, when it comes to commercial driving um, that means driving a van truck anything uh, commercial like you know I mean for business purposes really um, so yeah so there, there's this road sign or the dot metric sign warning or strong wind slow down 40 miles an hour giving us advice and um, most people don't take it but <clears throat> from experience I know that this road is very uh, dangerous because obviously it's the highest in the land highest motorway in the country and the uh, wind does hit you on a wind, windy day like this so you've got to take that advice you got to be careful especially when you're driving a truck a tractor unit and trailer like I am so you know you're you know I'm responsible for myself and then obviously the Lord and the people around me you know the general public in their cars and stuff so I've got to be you know on point and this is the uh, responsibility that you have as a trucker so you know so I'm just gonna chill out I'm, I'm just following this one-stop truck not gonna overtake him we're doing 69 kilometers per hour now just over 40 miles an hour and there you see sign for Saddleworth so uh, yeah, not a great day. Well, yeah, this is a. Uh, I hope you find this video interesting. I will uh, be quiet and uh, let you enjoy the drive. Just one one quick thing I'll tell you what it feels like when you're driving it in windy weather it feels like you're just constantly moving your whole body's like left to right moving like that <laughs> so it's yeah you gotta be careful with it man you gotta really uh, I'm getting a bit too close to this guy here he's going a bit slower now so I'll just back off a bit yeah yeah you just gotta be really careful with it Obviously, I should have had my lights on there. I've got my uh, side lights on, I've got my headlights on now. Because, yeah, it is quite dark. It's only, what, what time is it now? Um, 
uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. Uh, let me see, let me see, 1.30 in the afternoon. So, yeah, and it's Wednesday afternoon, 20th day of December. All right, so I'll just speed it up a bit because he's speed up, sped up. We'll go about, mm, well, about 70 because he's speeding up and down. I don't know what he's doing. 72 kilometers per hour up to 74 75 looks like um he's took a brave pill and he's speeding up and i can manage this so i'm all right i'm good feeling in control as you should be feeling safe and that's the way to do it when the conditions are horrible Look at it, man. Yeah, every time you get passed by another truck as well, depending how close they are to you, you do feel the draft. So it kind of like gives, pushes you out. So you get that buffeting feeling again, you know? So I'm just, you know, you're driving by feel. Using your inbuilt sensor in your body to just feel. This guy's all over the line. Look at him. Yeah, best not putting yourself in uh, trouble when you're driving in harsh weather, you know? Just don't take too many, don't take unnecessary risks. And I'm not being a big... If you know what I'm saying, I'm not being one of them. I'm just... Uh... <laughs> but I'm just saying... Be careful. Don't take an unnecessary risk. You don't need to. You, you, what you need to do is get to where you're going safely. That's it. That's what it's all about. Because you have an accident, your day is going to be longer anyway now because of that accident. You're going to have more stress. You're going to be peed off. You're going to be upset. And you're going to have to do paperwork when you get back to the office and uh, you're going to look like a right spanner. All right, he's backing off a bit here, so I'm going to have to brake gently. You want to just touch the brakes lightly. You don't want to make it unstable. Stability is key when you're on the public roads. You can't, you know, you can't rag it. <laughs> you can't rag it. You just can't. I'm oh, sorry. It is uh, your livelihood and it's all about safety as well. All right. Hope you're enjoying that camera, by the way. speed are we going now 75 75 kilometers per hour nearly 50 miles an hour so by the way I am on my way to Stoke in this journey um, just thought I'd let you know Coming from Huddersfield. And he's braking again, backing off again. So I've got to just gently get on the brakes, give that little bit of a space. 
just in case anything. I'm going to ignore that because I know where I'm going and that's um, sending me another way. Now actually I am going to overtake him here because we are on a better stretch of road and uh, oh, this car driver's not going to make his mind up here, watch. It's like I've got to drive for them because they don't you see a truck by the side of you, put your foot down, you're in a car, you're faster and you're lighter. So you'll, acce you'll accelerate better, you know? But they always want to make you um, make the decision for them. Alright, so now we're on, um, we're not on an exposed section of motorway. It's not that windy, so the problem is not that severe so you can speed up a bit like I am doing I'll go up to about 85 kilometers per hour that's my limit on a windy day like this because it obviously it is it depends on you know you drive to your limit I can I can go up to 90 in this 90 kilometers per hour and um, I can drive it fine but there's no point doing that extra bit of risk for no reason you know I'll get to where I'm going that's the main thing so yeah now that it's not exposed the buffeting has lessened a bit but still there are pockets of buffeting so you just gotta be ready for it just driving in a reactive state, reacting to it. Now it is buffing it, buffeting a little bit more. So I'll just drop it down a little bit in speed. Drop it to about 80. And uh, that'll help me control the buffeting a bit more. Honestly, once you once you drive a, an Arctic or a high-sided vehicle, you really understand how strong winds affect a vehicle. You really do. You'll feel it a bit in your car, obviously everyone does, but it's not the same. We might need to switch lanes here. I'll just up it, speed a bit. Um, nobody's coming down on the left side, only this truck here, but it's not coming onto my direct path, so I'm okay there. And we're back up to 85 kilometers per hour. Let's see what that truck's doing. Is he going to go faster than me? Can I pull in yet? Yeah, I'll pull in. Yeah, it's giving me the flash there, so that's all right. I can go. If he wants, he can overtake me. That's his choice. There he goes, he's going for the overtake. Why are you pulling in so early, pal? Should know better. Some guys just have no clue. They're still driving like they're in a car and they're in a lorry, you know. Just gave him the flashes there. 
see what this guy does, see what he's overtaking this guy in the walkers, he's done it a little bit later but still too early, there's no need to pull in so early especially in bad weather, don't know why guys do that people do that you know Anyway, so we're gonna, we're on the M62 now, we're gonna head uh, on the M60. overtaking me now and I want to be in this lane anyway on the uh, I need to be in that left uh, right lane so I'm gonna let this guy overtake excuse me excuse that he's driving a bit too close I'm gonna put my indicator on see if that speeds him up a bit okay Thank you. Yeah, he, he's finally got his brain in gear. So, yeah. No, he's not got his brain in gear because he doesn't know where he's going. Didn't even need to move. In fact, I'm going to overtake this guy because he's, um... He's going just a bit slower than me. And I don't like that he's a bit... I don't know what I'm doing kind of thing. He don't know what he's doing, so... I've got a feeling he's going to cut across, you know, into my lane. Just got that feeling, so I'm going to be ready for it, just in case. In fact, no, I'm not going to close the door because the gap is just too small. You want to keep a gap. just in case you need to brake harshly not harshly but like emergency brake you don't want to do it harshly <laughs> alright ok alongside now Yesterday I was driving on the uh, A65. Don't know if you know it, but that road is pretty nice. If you know it, it's a nice driving road. Um, it's a bit, it's a you know, it's a bit of a challenge in in places. You've got to know the road. Once you've driven it maybe two, three times, you'll know it. And um, yeah it was a it was nice because I was ahead of everybody and I was driving nice you know I, I was driving uh, obviously I was in my truck not this truck but I was driving a truck and um, unfortunately I forgot my uh, camera and stuff so I wasn't able to record it but when, when I'm on it next time I'll try and record it for you and then you can uh, have a nice drive with me 
So now we're on the M60 around Manchester. And we're doing about 80 kilometers per hour, 50 miles an hour. I can, you know something, I'm just gonna say it about 80. Because it's quite a congested motorway this one it gets congested and the lanes are quite narrow for a truck so um, I'll just drive with a little bit of caution stay in this lane speed a bit because I don't want to encourage that kind of driving undertaking you know people see there it is you're not meant to undertake but people do it I think I'm gonna have to pull into the left lane and I'm now I can't An idiot what are you doing on my brakes too early. So you got two exits here. Oh, idiot, why why you cause me to break because you just do stupid things like that but you don't pull into the car like that you pull across onto the truck like that what an asshole that winds me up just brain dead car drivers cutting across you when you're in a truck like this but they don't do it to car drivers do they is at a standstill beautiful just what we like <laughs> oh man tell you what I'm going to uh, pause the video here and uh, we'll come back when we are at speed again see you in a bit <laughs> 